Hello, my name is Brandon Sills, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to route Reaper into Discord. If you like the content of this video, please consider giving a like, a subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates on new videos to come. So the first thing you'll do in Reaper is open up your sound properties, select your ASIO driver as ASIO Link Pro. Next, you'll also set up your inputs input one and two if you're using a two input interface like a Focusrite 2i2. You can use more than that if you have more inputs or if you have virtual driver routing as loop one and two. Don't worry too much about requesting sample rate or block size. These should already be set in the ASIO Link Pro control panel. If you're unaware of what this is, refer to ASIO Link Pro video number four. I'll link it below. Once you're done with that, you'll see this exact window. This all correlates with all of the inputs physically and digitally that I have. And I also have several extra outputs available to me if I need them. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is have a clean slate to work with. So now at this point, I should technically double, double up here. here. And now I'm muting on OBS Studio, the main physical interface and only ASIO capture should be my audio source here. Now, once we have that window configured a little bit for our routing, the one thing I'm gonna do here to give you a test, this is a synth base that was quickly designed before starting the video recording using SynthMaster 2.9, not the latest beta that they're about to push. So just a few keys on my Roland Juno DI and the input there is occurring in my OBS studio. So now let's talk about routing it between Reaper and Discord. So right now you can see me talking here, but you also see me lighting up over here, but I have not switched anything as far as my routing or my drivers are concerned for Discord. So here's a kicker. If you're not familiar with this trick in Discord, you'll love this. So under your mute button, if you right click it, you get your input device. Because we're currently routing out here on these two bars, one and two, correlates to mix zero one. So let's give that a shot. And I'm still coming through on it, but now I'm not gonna say anything. So all of that signal is coming through. And when you're done, just switch back to your main interface. For me, my 18i20. And now I'm going to press a few buttons again. And that should cover this video specifically. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section and I will respond to them as best as I can. The next videos coming up will involve Cubase and Studio One and Ableton Live. Thank you.